What's up trainers? It's Scotty over here. Uh, we're at league right now. We got a full full cast right now, but uh, we only got one table, so there's not a whole lot going on. Well, sorry. That's, there's not there, there's too much going on actually. We got Ian right here trying to, you know, play against someone. But he's got uh, he's gotta teach some newbies over here. I'm not really doing anything right now, so that's why I'm handling the camera. And uh, we'll see if we can get any games in for trading time. Scotty, what are we doing? Uh, well, I'm winning, obviously. Got that, both games, got the Bridget in the pseudo widow start. So against Turbo Dark, uh, being able to pseudo widow their bench early means that they have to play more items because they can't play Shaman and Dark Ride GX at the same time. So that forces them into trash and land range, which would make you think I would want Trubbish, and I do, but I'm stupid, so I didn't get Trubbish off the Bridget. So Scotty and I are playing Expanded. Scotty's going to Dallas. And I only play expanded for the most part. But yeah, he won the first game. We're on the second game. Um, my start was pretty good, but his starts have been a lot better. So we'll see as the boy over here continues to uh, do what he's doing. <laughs> Yo, uh, how's it going, everybody? We're here at League. Uh, I was just going to show off a pretty sick poll that uh, our friend Andrew just pulled. Check this out. What'd you get, man? I got a whole card oh, That is a very sweet poll. Congratulations. You gonna use that in the deck? Yeah, probably. Yeah? We've still got Brenna over here. She just got a heck of a deal for a bunch of Eevee stuff. Which maybe we'll show that eventually. We showed it a while ago. But all the new stuff. Not updated, no. So. Well, let us know down below. Do you want to see my updated list? I know they want to see Haley's. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> Dang. So basically, uh, Alex won game two. Uh, it was a really close game, but it came down to a lot of it being me prizing Guzma. Because there was a turn where he really, really needed an extra turn, so he lasered my Zoro. I'm rounding down. He flipped heads on the sleep, and then in between turns, I flipped tails. And I had a really good turn where I could have gotten Guzma, and then I had great catcher in hand, so I would have killed the ADP. But I prized Guzma, and when I went to search for it with Lele, I ended up prizing it, so. It was really sad, stayed asleep for a turn, wasted a turn on nothing. And but we're gonna go to game three and hopefully I'll pull it out. Scotty won. It was close. Um, I'd made some very questionable plays. So did he, but uh, ultimately he got there. It was nice to play expanded in uh, person and not really poorly online against really bad decks, so that was cool. You're like the only one here that plays expanded other than me. Yeah, expanded is my favorite format because standard is bad in my opinion. Standard is so bad, it's garbage. It almost feels like the game comes down to luck. <laughs> and I don't like I don't like that. I like expanded more because even though you know there's a luck factor involved, the coin flip decides who wins a lot of the times. But it's also nice being able to play a consistent game where you control your draws and you you basically get control over what you do and how you play. Whereas standard is just like, oh well, I didn't hit the absolute nuts. I'm scooping. Let's go to game two. So before we've had. Um, Adrian did record our uh, tabletop matches and I was thinking about talking to Aaron about possibly bringing that back because we have a lot of players that are good here you know like Jackie, myself, um, Andrew comes every so often um, Dr. Professor Ian over there he's pretty good um, maybe we could bring back some sort of tabletop match uh, maybe once a week or something like that let us know down below guys um, I am floating around comments I'm sure Scotty is I'm pretty sure most of us kind of float around the comments let us know what you guys think um, if there's anything that we can do for you guys that would be awesome let us know Scotty here. So, I'm gonna be profiling off my Max Rarity Zoro Garb. I say Max Rarity, but it's off by a few cards, but it's really close to getting there, so we're gonna show it off. Four Zoro was. I actually should point out, uh, these are not reverses, because reverses are very expensive. Uh, reverses, last time I checked, were around $15. Maybe closer around to 10 now. But uh, we got the the four shiny Zorok GX, the pretty ones. Uh, this is your main attacker. It's just busted. Zark is effect is arguably the best card ever printed. Uh, foul play is really good right now because you can copy stuff like ADP to do 30 more damage. It's also just a one prizer that attacks through a DCE, 
So you, you could swap between this and Mind Jack if you wanted to. So the reason why I run this specific Trubbish is because Garbage Collection can get back really, really important resources. Getting your extra Versus Seeker, getting an Energy back, getting like a Rescue Stretch or a Super Rod, it can keep you from losing games. So I also run one uh, Garbotoxin. You'd think that this is uh, counterintuitive to Zorark's trade, but what it actually does is it lets you get around cards like Pseudo Widow. And there's a lot of cards that you run in this deck to, uh, you know, only to Garbotoxin for a single turn to effectively make it Hexmaniac, which, if you don't know, Hexmaniac was banned because of Zorark. Uh, and then moving on, we got two Executes. Uh, Execute is also a really broken card. It basically makes Zorark's trades free. And it makes your Ultra Balls, your Guzmahala, your Dowsing Machine, it makes them all free. And if you need an extra bench Pokemon to KO with a Skyfield and Riot is beating, you can just be like, okay, propagate both my eggs, Garbotoxin, bench them, KO. Uh, Lele is really important because you want to find supporters turn one, whether it be Bridget or if you prize it, usually stuff like Professor Sycamore in Chorus. But then you run one Dedenne and one Shaman. A lot of Zora Garb lists are running two Shame and zero Dedenne, but I prefer the 1-1 one, one split because oh Dede Change is just able to get rid of really bad hands. Uh, then we run Ditto. Ditto's, you know, always been played in Zorark. I shouldn't have to explain it. It's a fifth Zoro, a third Trubbish. Uh, if you want to, you can run, like, a Ditto tech. Pseudo Widow's really good to shut down stuff like Turbo Dark because if you go first, you can keep them from just exploding turn one. It's also really good in the Zoro Mirrors because it forces them to Garb or to Muck. Uh, then we run one Mew. A lot of lists are not running Mew. Uh, Bench Barrier is just good against random stuff. One Klefki. So this is one of the cards I was talking about where you can uh, Garbotoxin lock for a single turn. You can Bench Klefki, which also counts as a Bench Pokemon towards Riot is beating. And the last Pokemon we run is a Marshadow. This is just to get rid of Power Plant because Power Plant is seeing a lot of expanded play at the moment. So moving on to the supporters, we're going to be running two Chorus. This is the only supporter we run more than one of. I would be running three, but there's situations like opening hands where you just can't Chorus for more than like two. So we play a Sycamore. Sycamore normally isn't good in Zorark because you're trading into a big hand. Discarding big hands is bad. Discarding important resources is bad. But like I said, for that turn one, if you just really, really need to draw cards but can't chorus for more than a couple cards, you usually want a Sycamore because you don't want to in. In is also really good in this deck because it in plus Garbotoxin is just shutting down a lot of decks, especially when you're doing on the upwards of 180 damage plus with Zorark. Uh, we're running a Bridget. I uh, used to run two. I cut the second one because the deck just doesn't need two. If you prize it, you just Sycamore, and you just draw into more Pokemon, because this deck, as you can see over here, it plays a lot of Pokemon. Uh, one Guzma. It's Guzma. Why, if you're not running Guzma and Expanded, your deck's bad. Uh, Faba. A lot of lists also aren't running Faba. I like Faba because it can just turn awkward matchups into auto wins. And then last but not least, uh, Guzma Hala. Guzma Hala is, the, I believe, the only... No, it's not the only new card. It was the only new card until I added Great Catcher from Cosmic Eclipse that went into this deck. It's just really good being able to get Skyfield, DCE, Choice Band, tool, any tool. Uh, your A spec of choice is Dowsing. Uh, Dowsing is better than Comp Search because Zorak already digs incredibly hard. So being able to search anything out of the deck is kind of just moot. Especially when you could get anything back from the discard, which is really important for stuff like supporters, uh, Pokemon recovery, Skyfields, tools, etc. Uh, then you're running three Skyfield. It lets you get a bench Pokemon. It lets Zorak hit really high numbers. It's good. That's pretty much it. Uh, two Float. It's better than Switch. It's a tool. You attach it to Garb. Gives Garb for your retreat so it can't get trapped. Uh, next up, we got two Giant Bomb. So this is the interesting spicy tech that I came up with. So what you do is against tag teams that you just cannot KO, you usually want to in Toxin and Giant Bomb, so it locks them to a small hand where they can't use Shaman, Dedenne, or Lele to get out of it, and you Giant Bomb, so if when you hit them for 180, if they hit into you, they die. And then we're running one Choice Band because one Choice Band, I don't like Choice Band that much, but I also like having the ability to hit between 190 and 210 with Zoro. Um, killing other Zoros is just too good, being able to hit for 30 extra with Trash Lanch is really good. Being able to foul play for 30 more damage against the opponent is really good. Four Ultra Ball. I mean, it's the only good Pokemon. It's the best Pokemon search in, in the game. Four versus Seeker. As you can see, we don't run very many supporters. So being able to have access to supporters at any point is really good. One Blower. This is just good against other Garbs. It's good against uh, stuff like Power Plant and Silent Lab. Stretcher. I shouldn't have to explain it, you're on Pokemon. If they bump Skyfield, you have to discard three. They're in Pseudo Widow, and they play it, you have to discard four. Uh, you just need Pokemon recovery. Great Catcher. So, being able to just Great Catcher for free with your eggs is really strong. It gives you the ability to in and Gust in the same turn. 
which is why we ended up putting it in. It's just a very powerful card. Uh, then went on Run Super Rod. Uh, same reason as Stretcher, except it's able to get the single basic Psychic back, which is huge. Uh, one Compressor. Compressor it discards your supporters, it discards your eggs, it discards resources you don't want to see. Uh, and last but not least, we run a Pokemon Communication. The deck just wants another Pokemon search. That's really the only reason you're in communication is because you just want another search. Our energy count is uh, one Psychic Energy. Like I said, I only run one. Uh, I think one is all right. Like I said, if you don't prize it, there's not going to be issues because you have stuff like Super Rod, Zwart digs hard for it. I've definitely seen lists that run one unit in one Psychic because of the Guzma Hala. And I do say that if you don't run the Giant Bombs because, you know, it's a sketchy tech, definitely run Unit Energy because that card's very good. We just don't have the space for it. To round it up, 4 DC. Hello, trainers. Uh, I'm over here uh, with Scotty. We're going to do um, a little future format <laughs> testing today. Um, so I have built... Um, what is at least spiritually and stylistically absolutely the best deck in the future format, Sable IV. And uh, Scotty's over here working on the realistically some, best some deck kind in of format. Uh, boring, try hard, I don't know, deck that some kind win. of deck that's gonna yeah, yeah win points and whatever, who cares. So we're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully I uh, can at least like take a prize card before I lose. We'll see. Oh, you'll take prizes. Um, <laughs> you gonna give me some? Yeah. Um, yeah we gotta give you that, uh, that, uh, what's the handicap? Uh, that's, uh, you're very gentleman worthy, thanks. So we'll report back in a bit and let you know how that went. Um, wish me luck. Bench Guru, that's the one that lets me swap a card from my hand or the top card of my deck. Yep. I will use it. And then so, uh, Scotty uh, did kind of mop the floor with me with his try-hard deck, but you know what? We're going to go to the drawing board. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Sable is going to be good, trust me. Um, so, uh, I was super busy today. I think I taught four different people how to play Pokemon today, so I did not have a lot of time to record. Uh, so we're going to do a quick tip of the week, and then we're going to sign off. Many of you may know, pre-releases are coming up, so we're just going to quickly cover how you can find your nearest pre-release if you don't already know how to do that. So just go to Pokemon.com uh, slash US slash play dash Pokemon. Uh, and then from here we can scroll down to um, find an event, and then it's going to ask where you are. Uh, we're up here in the United States, and then we're going to search for uh, tournaments, premier events, we're not looking for video games, uh, and we're going to go search, and it's going to show us all of the sanctioned events that are coming up, uh, and you can see we got Sword and Shield pre-release, Sword and Shield pre-release, one of these is, there's our first Sword and Shield pre-release, Littleton League, um, and then you can go to it and it'll have all the details for that league. So like this is our first pre-release, it's on the 25th. Um, yeah, so find your pre-release and uh, go get in on the new Sword and Shield set. It's going to be very exciting. Lots of fun, guys. Yeah, we're really, really excited. I can't wait to start playing these decks for serious. New cards, new, new cards set. Always fun. New pre-release for 20. New tournaments here, yeah. too. Yeah. Very exciting. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's everything uh, for the week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you have fun. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Uh, train on. Train on.